What is creativity? Hmm. <laughs> creativity doesn't just arrive. It's instilled. It's something you can bring out in others. What is creativity? Creativity is seeing something, imagining something else from it, and creating that. You dive right into what's in front of you. You start creating something, and it's your own lines, your own color, your own composition, your own, your own activity, your own world. And I, and I can't remember the rest. <laughs> we were so moved by this man's approach to creativity that we're making a book about it, and we'd love it if you fund it. Oh, the idea of making a book sounded fantastic. He called it caustic merriment. What is caustic merriment? Hard humor art makes you laugh at things you normally don't. It puts you in a joyful mood. There you go. Jeff London is my father, and growing up in his multicolored, flowered, psychedelic house, yeah, it might have helped make me a bit creative. My father, he was particularly good at instilling creativity in others. I love working with kids. Kids are the joy of the world because you become a kid. You know, you, you retrogress into that, that same period of time when your dad was going in many directions. And it's not just about art education. He helped people everywhere to create, to explore, to think differently, and yet be themselves. We know this because we found a ton of archives about it, and you'll find them in the book. Artist, inventor, loony bird. He was a designer, a maker of things. He, he wrote stories, he sang songs, he published games. His art was at Woodstock and in the White House. Yeah, he was quite known back in the day. But his biggest contribution? He helped people find their creative side. Anybody can draw. If you can make a circle, if you can make a line, if you can make a dot, pinpoint, all you have to do is expand the pinpoint. You don't have to be an artist. You're not an artist. I'm not an artist. I became an artist. <laughs> you can become an artist too. It was never about the art. It's about how you see yourself. He was a conceptualist. He had a real passion for creation, being creative, helping the young, but also the young at heart. Now, we're pouring the essence of Jeff London into a book so everyone can get a taste. And like all good things, it's better when shared with friends. Where's it gonna go? Ah, oh, it's okay, we're gonna give it to friends and family. And then all of a sudden you started thinking about it and said, you know, there are a whole lot of friends and family in this world. Thanks to Jeff London Friends, we have collected art and artifacts, anecdotes and stories. And we think they're gonna shake you up a bit, but also ignite your creative side. We'd like you to say yes to this book. Give us that little creative nudge. We've got all kinds of goodies, exhibition posters, old articles. Look at this thing, you need one of these. Maybe we could send you some of his grass card game pieces or a magnet. Jeff London to put on your refrigerator, giving you that creative nudge. What do we ask? Well, give us a little nudge. Help us make this book a reality. You do it. Huh? You do it, say it again. Okay. Jeff London Friends, the art of a creative life. Do it.